All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today I've got another watch from Sharp Brothers. Now, if you guys remember a while back, I had the Seven Sins Diver, 300 meter diver from Sharp Brothers, and it was a really cool, unique watch. Everything they do, they try to do it a little bit different than everyone else, try not to make the same, you know, watches as everyone else out there, a little bit of a design and uh, kind of different concepts involved with their watches. So uh, I'll leave a link to the Seven Sins Diver video down below in the description. I'll also leave a link to Core Watches. Um, Sharp Brothers website is now Core Watches. They're, they still carry all of the Sharp Brothers lineup, but they're now considered Core Watches. So I'll leave a link to that also down below. So Stephen reached out to me, asked if I would like to take a look at their new Quartz Diver, which I have here in the carrying case, and I was really excited to. I wanted to mention uh, it did come with all these extra accessories. I'm not sure if the watches, when you order them, will come with all of these, but we've got like a stone bracelet here with a little Fury logo on it. Uh, I got a flask here with the Sharp Brothers logo, a sticker for the vehicle, and a pin if you want to wear a pin if you're in wearing pins. Pretty cool little deal. Um, the, the switchblade, if you guys don't remember, the switchblade, the hands on the Seven Sins Diver are actually a uh, switchblade, and it's pretty cool. So, all right, so let's go ahead and open the carry pouch or the travel case and take a look at the watch. And pretty cool that they come in these travel cases. I love it when people box a watch and something that you can con continue to use, excuse me. So go ahead and open it up and we have the Fury. This is the paperwork on the watch and here's the watch itself. We'll go ahead and take a closer look at it. The paperwork describing the movement, how you do the time setting and everything is right here in this package or in this uh, pamphlet. So here you guys go, the Fury. Now the design behind this is tattooing or tattoos and you'll see as we look at the hands on the watch, the design on the background of the dial, it really kind of matches that look. So they've got a blue model here, which of course, because I'm a big Dodgers fan, I asked them to send out the blue model. They also have a red and a green model available. So pretty cool, cool watches. Running a three-hand Japanese quartz movement, this is either a Seiko or a Miyota movement. Very simple, easy to use movement. Uh, you do have a date function over there at the three o'clock position. Taking a closer look at the dial, we can see that what I'd consider like a tattoo style, uh, you know, flame there, that flame type setup. The indices are applied all the way around. You've got these diamond shaped indices, which would look really good in the 12 o'clock. You have that Sharp Brothers knife logo. Cleanly printed on the dial is Sharp Brothers Fury and the 10 atmosphere. So you do get 100 meters of water resistance out of this watch. So that's pretty cool because it's a watch you can use to go swimming with and it's not gonna cause any problems if you jump in the water with it. The uh, uh, strap that the watch comes on is this really nice smooth, uh, what I consider like a deluxe NATO strap. You do have Sharp Brothers there on the hardware on the watch, also on the buckle assembly there. Go ahead and undo this. Take a quick look. I'm not really sure I haven't taken a quick look at the case back on the watch guys, so we can do that here real quick. And we do have a simple screw down case back on it, lets you know that this is a 100 meter water resistant watch and stainless steel construction. So pretty easy, gonna be nice that you have that screw down case back um, to be able to keep this watch 100 meters water resistant. It is a push pull crown, I'll let you know, which is not uncommon on 100 meter watches. Uh, even the Seiko 5, their new, you know, pseudo SKX is a 100 meter watch that with a push pull crown. So really, really cool. These watches are $149 over at the uh, core time pieces web website, which I said I'll leave down below. So it's not a bad deal. I do believe this is a hardened mineral crystal. They don't mention sapphire anywhere at the website or on the case back. So usually that indicates it's going to be a hardened mineral crystal. There is a little bit of polishing on the watch, as you guys can see on the tops of the lugs, which looks really, really nice. It's kind of interesting because usually you'll get the, the polishing on the sides of the case and the brushing on the tops of the lugs. They've kind of flipped that and, uh, put the brushing or the polishing actually on the tops of the lugs, which really kind of makes it pop a little bit. The hands, as you guys can see, these flame style hands also on the watch, which are really cool. The uh, minute hand does reach all the way out to the indices. The only indices on the watch are at the five minute mark. Very simple, clean, easy to use watch. And I like the way they use the dark blue on the outline of the date wheel. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and pause it. Get this watch on my seven inch wrist. And unfortunately, there's no loom on this watch, so we're not gonna stick around for a loom shot, but we'll definitely get this one on the wrist and check it out. All right, so here's the watch on my seven inch wrist right up against my Dodgers sweatshirt. Gosh, that looks so good. I love it. That's, that's actually why I asked for the blue one because uh, I really love blue. I love Dodgers and it looks really, really great. So the watch fits well. I, I didn't mention the size in the initial part of the video. So this is a 42 millimeter case from side to side, not including the crown. You have 48 lug tip to lug tip. So it's gonna fit really well and 12 millimeters of thickness. Now it does sit a little higher on the wrist because of the strap, the NATO strap and the layers underneath the wrist, but it's a cool, cool watch. If you guys are into colorful watches and just something different that you want in the collection, 
this is definitely something to look at and you can get them for right under $150, which is a really great price for a watch like this. Definitely something you're not going to see every day on anybody's wrist or everybody's wrist, but it's a, it's a great looking timepiece and I, I really appreciate what Sharp Brothers did here. So, all right, guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.